but I went to go get an IV. <laughs> Then welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Carver. do not like that like comment and subscribe so y'all i just been getting my life all morning i washed my sheets seen my sheets grow up my bed looks amazing and then i went ahead and did some laundry y'all i hate doing laundry like why do i have all these clothes to wash like please get it together i already know i had to make me a matcha I've been switching up my matcha at home recipe. I've been adding mud water to my matcha. And if y'all don't know what mud water is, you should. Because you need it in your life, basically. Because, y'all, I've really been trying to bounce back and get in the right state of mind to do my work. And be at my peak of being my best self and perform my best self. Because, I don't know, being on vacation, girl, I just want to stay on vacation. I just want to stay on vacation. And I don't know why it's so hard for me to bounce back and, you know, just be in the right center of mind, get a group of things and, you know, just stay focused. But yeah, mud water is basically a coffee alternative. I'll put it in my matcha because I don't know if I ever told y'all why I started drinking more matcha than regular coffee. It's because I get the jitters so bad. It's so bad that I end up getting anxiety. And then I just start overthinking. I'm like, is this really my life? Like, what is missing in my life? What am I doing wrong? I just get so many thoughts in my head and I just cannot focus. And it's not healthy for me to be in that state of mind, especially working from home and trying to get my stuff done. So yeah, so mud water helps me stay focused. Cause they have four adaptogenic mushrooms in here, some ayurvedic herbs, just so I can be at my best self for my mind, body, and soul. It has so many different ingredients in here. It has cacao, lion's mane, kaja, cinnamon, turmeric, Himalayan salt, and so many things to help with inflammation. And one day y'all, I woke up and my stomach was so 
my stomach was hurting. I don't know what it was from, but I woke up one day, made my regular matcha, added some mud water to it. And literally within like 30 minutes, my stomach stopped hurting. So I'm like, oh wow. And it's 100% organic, organic, no GMO, gluten free. And mud water sent me over their starter kit. Yeah, this is 30 servings per container. And then also you get a little milk frother whip that they have, y'all. The whip. A1, it has two whip, two like spiral things on there. Cause normally the one that I, I used to own, cause I threw this one out, I threw the other one out. But yeah, the one that they have had two spiral mixers at the bottom. It makes it so foamy and nice. Oh my God, for your drink. I was like, wow, I was really impressed by their whip. So it comes with a vegan coconut creamer, but I personally don't like coconut, so I didn't use that. I like oat or almond way better. And so you'll be able to get your own mud water starter kit. All you need to do is click the link down below and you'll be able to use my code to save 15% off on your first starter kit. So yeah, grow up, make sure you grab some mud water. So you'll be able to, you know, get those benefits in your household. Or they have so many recipes on their website and also they have a recipe on their tin, the mud latte, which you can make just with this, your choice of milk and just some hot water. So yeah, love that. And thank you so much Mud Water for sponsoring today's video. It's about to finish getting ready for the day. And I have to go back to Wisconsin but I'm gonna be in and out, so I gotta hurry up and get dressed. So yeah, I'll probably check in with y'all once I get back, cause it's really gonna be in and out. I wanna put my mama on camera, but I know I'm probably not gonna have time to. So, so yeah, I'll see y'all once I get back. Hey, Gorilla. So, um, yeah, I just got off a flight, and I'm not in the best mood right now. Um. I don't know why, I just had a little, I don't know, just a little burst of like anxiety jitters. So I just took this stress um, little gummy or whatever. So yeah, I just came back from Wisconsin for like two seconds. I was there for like two seconds, in and out, had to do something, come back. And I know y'all want my mom on the vlog, but it was just really in and out. But she'll be here soon um, to help me with my closet. But right now I'm just about to take a bubble bath because like I said, I'm not in the best mood. Let me turn this off. I don't know why, maybe it's cause I haven't ate all day. First of all, I woke up super early, catch my flight. And then um, I didn't eat. I didn't have a proper meal yet. So, and also I wanna just do some skincare. Um, I'm really into like my skincare right now and I just really want my skin to be very healthy, youthful, especially for the summertime coming up. I just really want to be more into like natural makeup. I don't know. And I just really want like a chill face, you know, fresh face. That's why I've been really into my gosh, not jishwa, ga. I know how to say it. I know how to say it. Gua sha. I've been really into my like gua sha routine, I guess you could say. But um, yeah, so I just picked up this microdermabrasion scrub. I've been recently, well, this is gonna be my third time using it. I'm about to steam my face. I haven't seen my face in so long, y'all. So I'm gonna steam my face really quick. Cause I have like a bump on my nose, but yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to be exfoliating and then I'm gonna wash this off and then steam my face. I just wanna get all of the dead skin. I just wanna get all of the dead skin off before I steam. Cause it doesn't make sense to steam over non-exfoliated skin. You know what I'm saying? Because it just doesn't make sense. And I need to make my way to Sephora because I really want to try new things. I want to get a new blush. I want to get a new. I'm just going to let this sit and then I'm going to start back up my bath. And we're just going to have a little post airplane chill. 
midday. So I just did my skincare for the night. My skin is looking good. And oh my gosh, y'all, it's thunderstorming right now. But I'm about to make me some dinner. I'm starving. And y'all, this is gonna be my first time making a steak. Um, I just got this little boneless steak from Whole Foods. So I was like, you know what? I wanna try to make it. And also, um, hold on. I have went to the atrium this week. It's this new restaurant here in Atlanta. And y'all, they had, the service was trash, but hold on. Y'all, y'all, this is the scary part about being in the fucking high rise. I'm scared. Anyways, um, so I just put on these onions. I don't know how to make caramelized onions, y'all. I'm honestly just winging this. Ish. So we're gonna see how it turns out. But I'm scared. I'm gonna hurry up. I wanna get away from the thunder. <laughs> okay, let me put this garlic in here. Oh, I gotta keep race memory. Y'all, so I just got done with my food. Here's the steak. I put a little pesto sauce. And I just have it on the side of with rice. But, yeah, not the best presentation. But, you know, it's cool. Anyways, I'm about to get out the kitchen because it's scaring me. And I'm finna get in the bed and enjoy my food. And I'll probably talk to y'all tomorrow. So, yeah, and I'll let y'all know how it is. I don't want to taste this on camera because I want to get in the bed. I'm tired. Anyways, bye. Y'all, I'm down bad. Oh my God, look at my lips. Y'all, so I just woke up from a nap. Y'all, I was to go get an IV. Y'all, I was throwing up all night. It took everything in me to pick up my camera and show y'all, like, I have been down bad. You, I got me a little chicken wrap at some guy row place. Y'all, and that was the only thing I ate yesterday. My stomach started hurting so bad i was throwing up all night i was exhausted i hopped in a shower and just let the water just run on me y'all look at my lashes look at everything my hair is done like <laughs> and i woke up was still throwing up I was still throwing up like water or anything could not hold nothing down and before y'all say oh you're pregnant no no i'm not with pregnant and so <laughs> I definitely believe it's food poisoning. So, mm -mm. y'all, y'all do not want to go through this. So, I'm like, oh my god, I need to hydrate myself. I need to keep 
hydrating myself and nothing is staying down so i'm like okay let me see if i can find IV place or IV place in um atlanta so i went to this place called what is it called grip <sighs> bar yeah drip bar drip bar and they were really nice and she gave me a shout out zofran because y'all <laughs> when i was there she offered me a beverage i was drinking this lemon soda water or whatever like i really wanted a sprite because y'all know when you used to be sick you used to <gasps> i want some popsicles too oh my god like i i don't want you being sick and down bad but anyway I feel a little better she was really nice she gave me a shot of zofran which is um like nausea and vomiting medication that because i was throwing y'all at the end of my iv um i threw the water up like the soda water i threw it up like oh my god i need to go to the bathroom so uh y'all just be down bad all day so now i'm about to drink i just woke up from a nap I'm about to drink some liquid IV and um, what was that? Y'all, this is crazy. I don't like this. Okay. Oh, this is so, it's gonna make me a little concoction. Oh my god, I can't believe this. These are the times where I have to be strong for myself because obviously I take care of myself. Of course, I'm going to be strong for myself all the time. I'm sure. What am I saying? I'm hilarious. But yeah, I'm just in for today. It's Saturday. I'm not doing jack squat. My head hurt. I did have a hair appointment and I had to get my lashes done, but I'm like, I canceled everything. You know? So I'm about to just watch to put a ring on it. Um, I don't know if y'all watch this show. They got a new season out. Um, and it's only three episodes so far. So I gotta tune in and I'm just chilling and about to eat my popsicle. I'm just so weak. <laughs> anyway. The show is so mature. It literally has my mindset sometimes so basically this show is about i'm trying to debate if i have even have energy to tell y'all but this show is about um basically these are couples that have been you know in a relationship for some time now and it's like when you're in a relationship for so long it's just like um should we be getting married like what are the next steps um, basically, they're just testing their relationship by going on dates with other people. So, this couple is talking about the man's date he just went on, but he, back at home, he was not telling her, um, his girlfriend, like, hey, how was the date? He was just like, oh, it was cool. Like, he wasn't going in depth of the date. So, obviously, that's a red flag because, it's like, why are you not telling me what happened? Like, what's going on? So, now he's explaining to um the head honcho like what happened on the date and then his girlfriend is getting so fucking mad and i feel her she like and then she was like um we're getting a lot of non-verbal for you because she was showing a lot of facial expressions <laughs> and she was like what's wrong and then she was like well da -da -da, i when i came back from my date he was saying all this and i felt scolded i'm like what that mean? So, I need to start. You know what? I'm finna start doing, y'all. I'm about to start um looking up big words to clear a nigga. Because I'm be like, you fucking scolded me. I feel so scolded. I need to know what that means. Hold on. 
No, seriously. I need to grow up and be mature. Seriously. Um, that's why I really want to look into a mentor or something. I really want to get my mindset in a mature mind. Like, <sighs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. But anyways, I'm going to continue watching this. And hopefully my food is on the way. I'm going to order my food. I'm going to get Panera Bread. And Good morning, y'all. I feel so much better today. Uh, I feel so refreshed and like a brand new girl and i'm just so bad i don't have no lashes on but let me change my battery because y'all are coming with me today because we are about to have a little sunday fun day kind of sorta um i need to go to sephora y'all i have not shopped the sale i need to go there to the sale ends tomorrow so i need to go to sephora and i need to go to the grocery store but i just have on my skims two piece what's really good like what's really new like, I swear, y'all, I try so hard to not wear skims and, like, wear, like, a, a better outfit or whatever. But, y'all, I just, just can't help it. So, and I have also Le Blanc by Tom Ford uh, for perfume today. And I mix it with Gypsy Water. It smells really fresh. I really... Anyways, y'all, like I was saying, so I have on Sole Blanc for my fragrance today. And just these Louis shades, Chanel bag, and nothing major. Should I? I need to start wearing my Chanel bag crossbody. Like, or should I wear a smaller bag? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what glasses I should wear today. The Loewe's just make me feel more like a rich boss beach. The Louis glasses are definitely very fashion girl. So I don't know. But oh, I need to put my rings on. I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm at a touch. Yeah. I'm for that bitch, I'm a layo. Yeah. I get the money, I'm a layo. I'm with a crack of the mail. Yeah. She give me brains on a bill. Yeah. I'm for that bitch, I'm a layo. Yeah. I get the money, I'm a layo. today i got it in baby okay and yes the next day yesterday y'all i don't know what it was but i was like i was when i came home i had a little bit of a headache that's why i didn't really show y'all like give y'all a haul of what i got from sephora but i am gonna give y'all a little haul once i get back home but i'm just about to make my way to run some more errands because i don't have no tissue world so like but i do use baby wipes though for my boobs um but I still, you know, want tissue now. So I don't have no more tissue and I need to go to Whole Foods um, and get some stuff. But yeah, I went to Trader Joe's yesterday, got made me a little meal last night. Um, picked up a few things from there. And then, yeah, so. But today I need to go with my toes on because they look atrocious. I need to get my hair done, my lashes. I get my lashes done tomorrow, thank God. But my hair, y'all. I'm really trying to debate if I should like do the clean girl lash lashes. If I should go shorter tomorrow with my lashes, cause I'm kind of feeling like I want to get into the more natural 
look of things because I'm just really I'm really transitioning y'all I'm really transitioning to like uh, like a grown woman like you know what I'm saying I don't know I might go shorter tomorrow we'll see I might it might not but I just want them to be short but I still want them to be like dramatic if you know what I'm saying I feel like my lashes to look very dark and noticeable I don't know because when I have my just my last set in um I really liked how my lashes were looking when my some of my lashes were falling out I liked it that look like I didn't normally I like them like full full like full like black dark but when they were falling out I was like oh this is cute that's why I wasn't really in a rush to get them done but when I got sick I was just in the shower letting the water fall me I did not care I did not give a F so yeah but yeah I'm just doing my skincare gonna get ready for the day and hopefully I get to make it to go get my feet done and y'all right now I'm getting my feet done at a vegan um nail spot they're vegan they don't use acrylic and I don't put acrylic on my feet anyways the girl did such a good job hopefully she's there today I text her to see if she was in to do my feet today but she didn't text me back yet she's probably working she probably is there but yeah hopefully I'll introduce y'all to her but I'm just gonna get finished getting ready for the day and I'll probably talk to y'all in a second so yeah and then we'll come back home and i'm gonna show y'all everything that i got from sephora so yeah hey gorilla so Everything that I said I wanted to do today, <laughs> it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I don't know why it didn't happen, but it just didn't. So, but anyways, let me give y'all a little haul of the um, Sephora haul. And I did place a, a light order. So, uh, y'all, I want to get some new rings so bad. I think I want to get um a solid love ring to go underneath this um i was gonna put like another one on top of here but it kind of feels weird but i really need to start dressing up this hand too i need to get another love ring or something right here i don't know i just i'm just really in love with like jewelry right now so anyway so let me just give y'all a little haul so I got first I got the Hooded Beauty Cupcake Powder. I do have this in the banana bread. Um, but I wanted to try cupcake for a more like a little, you know. Mm, you know what I'm saying? And then um I'm going back to my original um <laughs> I look crazy. I'm going back to my original moisturizer I used to use because my skin is kind of getting oily right now and I don't like that. So um, I really want to go back to my oil-free matte moisturizer by Peter Thomas Roth. This works so good. It has 2% salicylic acid acne treatment gel, clears up and prevents acne blemishes, helps hydrate and smooth acne, has 10% hyaluronic acid, so it's still gonna moisturize but still going to help with blemishes if you have them but i really like that moisturizer so i was like you know what i'm gonna go back to it you know if it ain't broke don't fix it okay so then i went ahead and got this charlotte tilbury i placed an order on charlotte tilbury right now because i really want to try out those highlighter wands because i really just want to have chloe effortless skin you know barely any foundation for this summertime because i'm really not trying to you know i'm really trying to be on vacation like every month i just want to be on vacation okay i just want to be with the vibes i want clear glowy skin effortless you know i got the beautiful skin foundation by charlotte tilbury 
And then, y'all, there was this. So, I got the colors 8 warm and then 10 warm to mix just in case. Because um, y'all know, um, when I get under the sun, I get very dark. And I have, like, an olive undertone. So, sometimes um, matching my foundation gets a little tricky. So, yeah. And then, also, on TikTok, I had seen um, reviews on this. And then, I also, like I just said, I told y'all that I am trying to stay away from, like, oil-based um, products and stuff like that. So, there was, like, this page that tests out different products to see how oily they are on, like, oil strips or whatever sheets um, for, like, 24 hours. And this was, like, low. So, I was like, I need it. So pick these up and then i also got this um a new uh sunscreen because i know i'm really um big on wearing spf so i got the peter thomas roth matte i was i do have the super goop one um i did take it with me on vacation but i felt like it broke my skin out i don't know if i was supposed to use this on my face but um where's oh yeah i have the play one and I put this on my face and I don't know, I was breaking out. I was like, oh no. Oh no. I seen that Super Goop had a matte sunscreen for the face. So I was like, oh, I want that. I want to see if that's better than the play. Cause I feel like the play is for the body, maybe not for the face, but I'm not sure. So I was like, hmm, um, but they didn't have it. And then I asked the, the skincare consultant or whatever, um, I was like, oh, y'all don't have this. And she was like, no, but Peter Thomas Ross has one. Because I was like, I'm, I'm looking for this. She was like, oh, they have one too, though. Um, so, yeah, anyways, they didn't have the super goop. So, she was like, oh, this one is, like, better. I prefer it. So, I was like, ooh. Well, mostly what this gives. It's a matte finish, shine control, sunscreen, SPF 45. So, yeah, we'll what it's giving so then i got the closest um concealer but yeah i got this 05w nah this is pretty light i'm tripping <laughs> this is a pretty light so i got this closest concealer you know tiktok got the best of me so we'll see what this is giving i guess um, so then I got the Rare Beauty because y'all know I love blush. And like I said, y'all, I'm really trying to have that effortless look or whatever. So I got the um, Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Happy. And this was the last one, y'all. I was shocked they still had it. So, and I use Rare Beauty um, foundation mixed with my NARS, um, like on a regular when I want to wear foundation. But I had to try her liquid blush. I really wanted to try out the NARS one, but they didn't have NARS. So I was like, let me see what this is giving. And this is supposed to be like real pigmented. So I'm excited to try this out. We're going to have to do like a full get ready with me on new makeup. Because I want to practice. I'm going to, you know, I don't want to do my makeup when I have somewhere to be. And it turns out ugly as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And then I got a biscuit um, concealer because I like to wear this um sometimes i remember this one tiktok when this girl got up super fucking early um she spent the night at this dude house and she got up super early just to put on like concealer and stuff um because she wiped her makeup off and she woke up super early to put like concealer on for when he woke up <laughs> i used to do that <laughs> I swear I used to do that y'all. I wear I wear I literally carry my concealer with me all the time and I wear a biscuit. They only have the small version left, but I have a few in my um beauty room, but I still wanted to get a small one. But yeah, I used to do that y'all. I used to go to a new house put concealer on in the morning and yeah, baby, I woke up like this. But that's when I was like I was like in my acne stages, so I was real insecure about my acne, but we got it together. We got it right. So I got another blush. Um, I got a Sephora blush. This is supposed to be a good blush. This is the date night. Oh, this cute. This is real cute. Okay, period. So we're gonna be trying that out as well. 
And then I got a new Charlotte Tilbury mini because I use this in my purse. Charlotte Tilbury Fallish. Oh, y'all, it's empty. Oh, I was gonna say, y'all, my heart was literally gonna be like, oh no, we gotta go to the store tomorrow. And I hate taking store trips. I'm really exhausted on going to the store. But yeah, I use the mini. Um, I carry the two medium in my purse with me. With a little beauty blender, you know, a little touch up. A little one too. Like I said, y'all, my skin is getting very oily right now. So, and when I go out and stuff, I like to just touch up my makeup with that. It's the best thing ever. So then I also got this K18 hair science. It's supposed to be better than Olaplex, I guess. And it's supposed to have your hair like new in four minutes and you're not supposed to use shampoo. No, you're not supposed to use conditioner. So you can only shampoo your hair. And yeah, so my hair is looking crazy. So we're gonna see, I might do this tomorrow. But shampoo do not condition yet do not condition and you're supposed to see like a huge difference between like a few washes so we'll see what that is giving definitely give y'all update and if y'all have tried that before let me know down in the comments sure so y'all just a little community so i need to start you know what i need to start doing y'all i need to start when i'm not doing nothing for real i need to really um start just going on my old videos or like videos i posted during the week and just go to the comment section and start just replying to comments because i'm really bad at that i normally just do it within like just 24 hours but i really need to just sit and reply to comments because i really you know i love engaging with y'all i love talking to y'all y'all my girls and we just be chatting it up so i need to start doing it i need to stop so yeah and then i also got a rubber dr jart face mask um I use these when I did that 4 a.m. video and I really like these masks. So I got to need some more. They didn't have the vitamin C, but that's okay because I wanted to try these other ones. I got the hyaluronic acid one and then I got the Sumi one. So, yeah. And then lastly, I got the Summer Fridays Hot Body Lotion. This actually smells just like cocoa butter to me. So that's why I like it. It's giving very like beachy vibes, very appropriate for the summertime. So I got me one of these. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all that I've got. So I'm about to use this because I'm about to wash my face and get ready to go to bed. Cause y'all, I really take my skincare and my nighttime skincare routine very seriously like don't play with me so yeah i'm gonna wash my face and go to bed and get ready for tomorrow because i have a long day tomorrow honestly truly so yeah and y'all i posted a tiktok and um i made the trader joe's i don't i didn't show y'all what i made but i went to trader joe's and i made the chicken fried rice Y'all, it tastes just like Benny Hanna's. Put a little egg in there, a little scrambled egg in the middle, make a hole when you're making the rice. And the rice only takes like five minutes. So easy. Like, if I can do it, you can do it, baby. I can barely cook. Hello Fresh needs to sponsor me sometime soon because I'm ready to, you know, start getting some meals. Because, <laughs> baby, I'm tired of experimenting. Okay. I'm really, I'm really tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> like, I love experimenting meals. Don't get me wrong, but, you know. Whatever, I just really would appreciate a little recipe book. <laughs> but anyways, um, but yeah, I'm about to get ready for bed and yeah. And I guess I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Cause yeah, I had a long day. And I still gotta get I gotta get up early because I gotta get my lashes done early in the morning tomorrow. So yeah, I'll probably take that tomorrow. And I'm still really debating on if I should get short lashes tomorrow, y'all. So y'all see what I get tomorrow. Cause I really, I'm really feeling my natural face. You know, I'm really feeling it. And I read some of my comments from my last video and they're like, Kyra, why do you have these long lashes? Like, can we see your eyes please? And I know my eyes are so small, but I just like, when my lashes just 
enhance my eye shape because like I don't know I hate that my eyes be looking droopy sometimes I just want them to look like like mm, like you know I just want them to look mm. so I don't know I might do like a cat eye dramatic little mini cat eye I don't know I need to get this hair situated okay I'm done complaining I will see y'all tomorrow hey girl oh my god look at my eye so I just got my lashes done today and I was opening my eyes during the process and I kind of got my eyes a little red and also I have to film but right now I'm <laughs> they're playing in my face y'all I don't know if I told y'all this but I do have a new esthetician um I only been to her one time but I love her she's so good so I can't wait to introduce y'all to her one day when I go back and get a facial um but yeah I'm like you know what I'm gonna normal plan my face because um I'm filming today and I really want my skin to look nice and glowy and healthy on camera and I'm trying to prolong getting ready until my eye gets a little better I really need some clear eye or something but let me put y'all up more so y'all can see the dermaplan process. I really just use an eyebrow um, thing. I did have an electric one, but I don't know where it's at right now. And I don't feel like looking for it. And then also, um, I'm about to use the um, K18 Leave-In Repair Hair Mask on in a second when i'm done so let me just lift y'all up real quick so i'm just gonna take a little gentle cleanser and put some more on my forehead just so that the blade will be easier to glide on my face so i don't scratch myself because you can scratch yourself when you're doing my planning it's Mm -hmm. but it makes your skin so glowy and healthy looking and it, i just did this cheek so i'm moving on to my forehead So now that I'm done derma planning, I kind of want to use something to brighten up my skin. I don't know why there's a little white patch right here. I think there was a little dry spot right here or something. I don't know, but I just got a little white area on my face. But I kind of want to do a little brightening mask real quick. See what I got. Uh, you know what I can do? Um, my Foreo. Um, yeah. I need to get some more Foreo sheet masks because. Oh, I can do this one. This one or this one. So if y'all watch my New York vlog, I, I took this mask with me. It's a gold collagen treatment 
mask. I didn't get to try it, but I took it from the hotel. Um, and then I got this double take loops mask. I got this when I went to the event in New York. It was in my little care package. Oh, this one does have an extra girl glow brightening, pore refining, calming benefits on the back and i never tried this but i wanted to try it because the packaging was like really cute and like fun so i was like hmm. and i've seen this before on um a website so that's what we're doing today so it comes like this in this little plot package container and serum is all over this package so it's drenched in the serum on here so yeah, it's supposed to brighten, pore refine, leave on for 10 minutes, apply texture side on face, tap remaining serum into skin. So that's what we're gonna do. Y'all, I'm gonna be up all night doing this stuff. Y'all, be better than me. When it comes to like filming and working and stuff, be better than me. Be better don't be waiting to the last minute or late at night to film but some people are like night owls like some people work better at night and some people work better in the daytime i personally work better in the daytime when i wake first wake up because at the end of the day because i wake up early so it's like what's the point Our skin is looking great. But yeah, girl, if you haven't like dermaplaned your face before at home, it's definitely a game changer because like I said, it just gets that like peach fuzz off your face, that hair off your face, and I'm a hairy girl. So it feels so good. You know, I need to start doing this stuff early in the morning. Like I did my 4 a.m. little get ready with me. I need to do that. Okay, so let me put the K18 in my hair. So I kind of like I said, I'm probably not going to be doing nothing major to my hair. I'm probably just going to soak this back. But because <sighs> this, y'all, my tracks are coming out like it's done i just don't want to blow dry it anymore like because i feel like it's just gonna come out um, shampoo do not condition towel dry begin with one milliliter three pumps and add more as needed work evenly from ends to the roots do not rinse out from ends to roots okay so let me do this middle part first because I really don't want to get it on my extensions because there's literally no point. That's a waste of money because <laughs> I want this stuff to work on my real hair and not the extension hair and the extension hair is already good. So three pumps, one, two, three. It smells like conditioner. What is that conditioner called? Yeah, it smells like um, suave, suave conditioner. Yeah, because my Lita used to use this, that conditioner. My grandma, my grandma used to use suave conditioner, and that's exactly what this smells like. Y'all, I can always get my hair done, and then I'm finna, um, I'm gonna add some. Uh, hair serum as well i just ordered some more hair serum i bought three of them i use the beckmore y'all this is so good y'all i don't know if i'm like weird or not but I can kind of already tell a difference already. And it wasn't laying down. But as soon as I applied the product, like, I don't know. I just feel like it 
is laying down better. I don't know. Even though it's like wet. I mean, not wet, but you know what I'm saying. It's not pressed out or blow dried. But yeah. Um, as y'all can tell a little bit, my curl pattern, she's getting there. And um, like I was saying, y'all, I've been using the Vegamore hair growth serum i just bought a three pack because i ran out of my first one like it's literally empty so like where is it at i think i'll throw it on yeah throw it. but this is a brand new package y'all i normally don't even do all these steps before i film i don't know why i just really want my skin to be like nice Monday, so yeah, this is the hair serum, and y'all, this hair serum is really like light. It doesn't weigh down my hair like at all. So I put it in my hair like every day. So maybe that's what's left my hair. Do something. <laughs> And also, I take their, um, I've been taking, obviously, vitamins every day and also um, their hair vitamins, their little hair gummies that they have. I don't know. I really like gummies, y'all. I really like taking gummies. It's just better to take for me. <laughs> Certain vitamins, obviously, because every vitamin, obviously, isn't gummy, but... I like gummy vitamins. They're so easy to take and especially when they taste good and like a sour candy or something. So easy to take and it's so beneficial. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I'm just going to let this sit on my face for another couple minutes and then I'm probably going to start getting ready. I'm probably going to start... Um, I need to clean my bathroom. I'm probably going to... Um, use some of the new products that I brought from the Sephora sale. So I'll bring y'all along with me when we start putting on makeup and stuff to film. But yeah. But yeah, I'm just going to let this sit and absorb. And we're going to come back and do a little something to the hair and stuff. So, yeah. Hey girl, so I just kind of got it. Y'all, listen, I don't know what's going on with me, but filming, when I film a sit down videos, I don't know why it takes me 50 million years to get it done. And then I'm insecure about my eye because it's still kind of red. So I'm like, ugh, like it was taking me all day, but I'm taking a break. I'm gonna come back to it. And I still got to edit this vlog I'm talking on. Um, but anyway, so I got a couple unboxings that I want to show y'all um, in this vlog. So I got an order from Aritzia. I don't know if I ever told y'all I lost my favorite Aritzia pants, sweatpants. I have no idea where they are. Um, I had got them tailored and everything. Um. And they were super expensive because Aritzia clothes are very pricey, but they're worth it because they are, you're able to wear them over and over and the quality never gets bad. And their flare sweatpants are my favorite. So um, once upon a time when I tried to order them, they didn't have them available, but now they had just kind of restocked i had placed an order online and i don't know if it was not in production yet or whatever but these pants took forever to come but i add but i reordered these pants in a the heather cloud that i lost and then i also got a new color in black but i kind of want to see how these fit on me because um last time they were too long and i had to get them um, I had to go to the seamstress. So this is just what they look like. They're just a basic pant, but I like the sweatpants that are flared out. I don't know. I just like that personally. And yeah, these are the TNA, super comfortable fleece in the inside. Ugh, I just love good quality sweatpants. And 
Aritzia has that. So I'm about to try these on really quick. I just have on the Skims Fits Everybody. Uh, let me take a check. Because, <laughs> nah, it's not good in. are in the size medium my other ones i think these are what is this boyfriend what? these are in a tall i'm surprised i'm not tall y'all at all and i'm surprised they even you know fit where they're not dragging on the floor so but yeah love these so cute and then i also got a new purchase from Louis Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. How do you say it? I don't know. But anyways, anyways, so I got a pair of slides. I wanted to do a TikTok unboxing, but I really can just retie it. It's not that serious. But anyways, so I seen these slides and I'm like, oh my god, I need to have them. Cause I'm really a slides girl. I love slides. I love looking at my toes. I love my toe show. I love sandals. So yeah. And these, mm, they smell fresh. I love the scent of a fresh shoe. But this is what they look like. So cute. I don't know how comfy they are. Cause it's kind of hard right here. But they are cute. I'm not gonna put it past that. And I just love the all black and then the velcro. Velcro, and it has a velcro and it has a velcro strap so and my feet are wide so i can definitely adjust it to my liking so I had to grab these <sighs> super cute i don't know i really don't know how comfy these are gonna be but it's given to the pool and that's it it's not giving a walk around maybe i don't know maybe i don't know they're not that bad but this is what they look like. They're super cute. And then with my anklets. So cute. Anyways. But yeah. I could really wear this today if I wanted to. But I'm not. But I'm supposed to be going to get something to eat with Aaliyah and AJ. Um, Just some sushi. <laughs> just to go get some sushi. I need to come back though. Because I need to still finish that <laughs> i just had a long day y'all i really woke up early and i don't know why sit down videos just take me so long i hate it it's so annoying and i still gotta edit a vlog for today so hopefully i'm able to get it up i'm just going to uh, um do a little bit of work before i I meet up with them. Let me see how far it is because I was 16 minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to eat and come back home because that's turning up stuff after now. <laughs> I'm not doing it today. I'm not doing it. Not today. And my hair not done. And my eye is red. No. I'm <laughs> sorry.